Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today I'm gonna to be making a knife out of some pocket change. Now, everyone has change uh, lying around. Right now in these days, um, everything's done with credit card and debit uh, and change is really obsolete. So I'm gonna be using this bunch of change that I have. Now I'm gonna be focusing on using real copper pennies and I'm gonna go into which ones you, you can use, what year, and some uh, 10 cent coins or dimes. And that's what I'm gonna use specifically to make up the uh, Damascus for the knife, uh, the knife build. So let's start sorting out these coins and get into making a knife. Let's get right into it. So to get the main ingredients for this knife build, I need to find First of all, real copper pennies, so a specific year. And I want to find uh, the 10 cent coins or the dimes. And these ones here also at a certain year, they used to be made out of pure nickel. Now, I don't want the ones made out of nickel. I actually want the ones that are made out of uh, steel and then just have a small quantity of nickel in it. That's the ones I'm after. I want the the hardness of the steel in there. So I'm gonna look through those and I'm gonna need some 15 and 20. I'm gonna put about three of these pieces. That is about three six, uh, one sixteen in thickness. And this is gonna be at the center of the knife and it's gonna act as my cutting edge because this is a high carbon steel. Now this one here, actually the 15 and 20 has about 2% nickel in it now you can also make it out of 1095 or 1080 for the uh, cutting edge I just have this these scrap pieces of 15 and 20 so I'm going to use them for that purpose the fourth thing you're going to need so we have pennies we have our 10 cent coins our 15 and 20 for a cutting edge now we need something to fill the gap between those pennies and coins as we start putting them into our canister. Now I chose to use this powdered steel that is 1080 powdered steel with 4% pure nickel. Now this is going to be a little bit brighter uh, than, the 15 and than the 15 and 20 which is going to show a little bit more of a contrast between the two. So we're going to have a contrast with the copper, the 10 cent coin coins which have a little bit of nickel in it and the 15 and 20, and then we have this powdered steel that's gonna go in between each of the coins. So next is how do we find real copper pennies? So I looked it up and between the year, I think it's 1942 and 1996, they used to be real pennies, real copper pennies and Anything in the 2000s, uh, 10 cent coins are now made out of mostly steel and then there's a small percentage of nickel in there and a little bit of other things in there. So I'm gonna be looking for those. But for the copper pennies, either you're gonna look at all the dates or the easy way is get yourself a magnet and the ones that do not stick to the copper are the real copper pennies. As you can see here, I sorted these ones out. They don't stick. And you can see here, these copper, these pennies here are not copper. So I can just go through them, take them off. You can see these ones are copper. Copper copper, so on and so forth. And you can just kind of go through them all, finding the real copper ones. And we're gonna need probably like, uh, I don't know, 50 or so, 50 cents of copper pennies and a few dollars of dimes, okay? Next, I'm gonna start making the canister. Now, the canister that's gonna hold these pennies 
is going to be made, I make it out of stainless steel, a 316 stainless steel. And the 316 stainless steel ensures that it will not stick to any of these other metals. It does not like to forge weld to any of this. So it's gonna make it a little easier. If I make it all out of that, put everything in it, and then forge it down, it's gonna be easier for me to cut it off and then pull the billet out of there. So let's start making a uh, canister. It's just gonna be made of uh, 1 8 stainless steel, 316. And we will start stacking our dimes and pennies to make our uh, Damascus, copper Damascus uh, billet. Now, on this piece, I left out two spots for venting for the welding, and I want to try not to. I want to make sure that I don't rotate it at the moment because I don't want all those pennies kind of mixing around, even though they're pressed in. I just don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to try and put it in to the uh, forge uh, like this until it gets up to uh, forging temperatures and then I'll start forging it all together. <laughs>
the colors in that uh, close-up video of the uh, knife we have the uh, 1084 the 15 n20 and the color of the copper and the dimes really turned out really nice I'm really surprised that it came out that nice and that visible of all three colors what a great experiment um, I'm gonna be making a really cool handle but I would love to have your input on maybe something that you would do or some sort of material that you would use on the handle. Something really cool to match this really cool Damascus on the uh, knife that I made. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would do and uh, if I use your idea, I'll send you something. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for more notifications for videos just like this one.